Hi guys, we are continuing our uh, series fluid electrolyte and acid base disorders and our subject is hypernatremia. Uh, let's start with definition. Hypernatremia is defined as a uh, serum sodium concentration more than 145 mL equivalent per liter. So it is much less common than hyponatremia as we discussed it previously because the vasopressin driving uh, source mechanism is very effective in responding to hypertonic state of hypernatremia. Even uh, in patients with renal disorders of sodium retention or severe water loss, patients will uh, regulate their sodium concentration close to or within the normal range if they have access to water. Water dissolve sodium in the blood. How about uh, perioperative uh, settings? Hypernatremia is most likely a result of uh, iatrogenic overcorrection. For example, if patients have hyponatremia and we are trying to correct it with uh, sodium bicarbonate or sterofondine or, or other uh, fluids which contain high level of uh, sodium. So, uh, treatment of acidemia with bicarbonate is the same thing. So, pre-water losses from diabetes uh, insipidus and extra-renal uh, gastrointestinal losses may also lead to hypernatremia because sodium is a major contributor to extracellular osmolality if we are dividing this in a compartment extra intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid extracellular fluid and this one is divided in into pairs which one is the circulating or blood plasma level and interstitial so <clears throat> because the sodium is a major contributor to extracellular osmolality hypernatremia induces a movement of water across uh, the cell membrane into the extracellular fluid and hypernatremia is associated uh, with hyperosmolality and will lead to ce uh, cellular dehydration and shrinkage for example if this one is is a cell so sodium is outside and it uh it moving water outside of the cell and it shrinkage okay let's talk about uh, signs and symptoms of hypernatremia that can vary from mild to life threatening so the earless signs and symptoms include restlessness, uh, irritability and lethargy, almost uh, central nervous system signs. As hypernatremia progresses, muscular twitching, hyperreflexia, tremor and ataxia may develop as well. So the very young and the very old and thus with pre-existing central nervous system disease exhibit more uh, severe symptoms at any given serum sodium concentration or degree of hyperosmolarity. So I want to remind you that what 135 to 145 is the normal range of sodium. And if this exceeds this value, it is called hypernatremia. And if it exceeds our values like 160 it is severe so the prominent abnormalities in uh, hypernatremia are neurologic signs dehydration of brain cells occurs as water shifts out of the cell into the hypertonic interstitial and produces edema so capillary and the venous congestion as well as venous sinus thrombosis have all been reported so as the brain cells shrink, uh, cerebral blood vessels may stretch and tear, which uh, can result in uh, intracranial hemorrhage even. 
So let's go forward. Uh, we will discuss uh, diagnosis of hypernatremia and many types that we have. Let's go with every column and discuss. So hypernatremia and we have hypovolemia, hypovolemia and hypervolemia. So the diagnosis and treatment of hypernatremia should focus on the severity of the derangement and the volume status about which I told you. So the presence of hypervolemia, eovolemia or hypovolemia dictates the appropriate diagnostic and treatment modalities. For example, uh, in hypovolemic hypernatremia, the patient have lost more water than sodium via uh, renal or extra-renal uh, roads, uh, renal or extra-renal, as you see. So, loop diuretic or promoting uh, diuresis with osmotic diuretics, with loop diuretics, profound glycosuria, uh, beer as well, extra-renal losses by diarrhea, uh, gastrointestinal uh, fistulas or even vomiting. So barn sweating is also losing of water by evaporation. Second one is eovolemia and a patient with eovolemic hypernatremia occur secondary to water loss without salt loss and may be uh, with extra renal uh, pathologic conditions or from renal losses. So renal and extra renal. Uh, renal with uh, diabetes insipidus, uh, central nephrogenic or gestational, and extra renal skin or respiratory tract. And hypervolemic peripheral edema, rails ascites. So hypervolemic hypernatremia will show signs of extracellular fluid volume expansion like jugular venous distension, peripheral edema, and pulmonary congestion as you see here rails and ascites so the differential diagnosis includes a history of hypertonic fluid administration oral intake of uh, salt tablets or a diet high in uh, salt and endocrine abnormalities like uh, aldosterone uh, secretion tumor as well so uh, treatment is determined how uh, severe the hyponatremia, hypernatremia sorry, is and how rapidly it developed and whether the extracellular fluid volume is increased or decreased. For example, for this type hypovolemic you are giving water, for this one you are giving diuretics and promote excretion and elimination from the body of the sodium. And if we are talking about management of hypernatremia in anesthesia. Uh, if it, it is possible at all, uh, surgery should be delayed until hypernatremia has uh, been corrected and its associated symptoms have abated. So, fragrant sodium, uh, serum sodium measurement and urine output monitoring will be required uh, perioperatively and invasive hemodynamic monitoring uh, may be useful to assess volume status. However, the accentuated chemodynamic responses to anesthetic drug administration are more likely a consequence of, a, of the vasodilation and negative inotropic effects of anesthetic drugs, especially that, that decreasing uh, blood pressure by relaxing uh, peripheral resistance of the vessel. So, uh, changes in uh, their volume of distribution of the drug. Once again, if you have hypovolemic hypernatremia, you are giving uh, five hypotonic uh, saline or five dextrose solution. If you have hypernatremic, you are giving uh, diuretics and limiting access to the cell. Hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, you can subscribe and follow me. Have a great time, guys.